Here I have Cypress CY4533 Barrow Connector Replacement Evaluation Kit. But actually, the star of this video is going to be the chip inside it, which is a USB-C power delivery sync chip with a model name CY3177 by Cypress, nowadays Infineon. Huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com. They were kind enough to manufacture and provide me for free prototypes of a printed circuit board that I've designed uh, in KiCad around the same chip, CYPD3177. Visit PCBWay.com if you need someone to create a high quality prototype of a printed circuit board for you. Furthermore, PCBWay also offers additional services, including assembly. Right now, in August 2024, there are a couple of promotions going on at PCBWay.com. First of all, there is a, the 10th anniversary promotion, which has been extended until the end of the month. And furthermore, you can try out the assembly service provided by PCBWay for just 29 US dollars, which includes free shipping and free stencil. Here is a closer look of the prototypes that I've received from PCBWay. This is a board that I've designed with the free and open source software KiCad. The purpose of this board is to trigger uh, different fixed voltages from USB-C power supply. My plan is to show you this board in details in my next video, so please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, for evaluation and testing of CYPD3177 in this video, I'm going to use the Barrow Connector Replacement Evaluation Kit. The exact model is CY4533. And right now you can see how I'm unboxing it. It comes really well packaged and there is a leaflet with some details about the hardware. Let's have a closer look at the major components. Of course, there is a USB-C connector where the appropriate uh, USB-C power delivery power supply should be plugged in. There is a J1 header, which we're gonna use for the I2C communication. And there are a couple of LEDs. D1 is the fault LED and D2 is the indication for power. I bought this evaluation kit from Mauser, so let's have a look at the price there. As of the moment, the price is less than 25 US dollars and on your screen you can see it in euros. This is without shipping and taxes, however, Mauser offers free shipping to the European Union for orders above 50 euros. The hobby electronic kits that I do under the brand Anabi Technology are also available at Mauser, so you can combine the order and get free shipping. Here's a closer look of the CYPD3177 chip, which is the core component of the CY4533 Barrow Connector Replacement evaluation kit. This chip comes with QFN24 package suitable for assembly with the surface mount technology. A couple of years ago, Infineon completed the acquisition of Cypress, therefore this chip that was originally developed by Cypress nowadays is manufactured by Infineon. This chip costs more than 2 US dollars per unit, however if you buy higher quantities the price drops significantly. For example, if you buy 10 units you get them at 1.59 US dollars per unit. This is the price list for August 2024, so if you're watching this video after several years you can do a comparison. In a nutshell, USB-C power delivery allows you to negotiate and to request higher voltage from a compatible power supply. And when I say higher, I mean higher compared to the typical 5 volts direct current. For example, the laptops work at 20 volt um, direct current or most of them work at this. Um, so there are two ways how to achieve this negotiation using the Cypress CYPD3177 chip. The first option is to do it the hardware way using uh, this uh, printed circuit board or a similar printed circuit board. Uh, this particular one is a board that I have designed in KiCad and uh, thanks to PCBWay for manufacturing the prototype for me. So on this board, there are certain hardware resistors. Depending on the configuration and the values of these resistors, uh, this board will trigger um, higher than five volts voltage. For example, it can trigger um, it can trigger uh, 20 volts or uh, nine volts or 12 volts or 15 volts. The other option is to do it programmatically. And this is what I'm going to do in this video. Using this evaluation board, uh, over I2C, I'm gonna 
create an Arduino sketch that communicates with the CYPD3177 uh, chip and programmatically sets the, the voltage. For this I have to develop an Arduino sketch and to flush it. Basically we'll have a firmware that communicates with the chip to set the desired voltage level. Let's take a breadboard and do some wiring for our prototype demo setup. Using three male to female jumper wires, I'm gonna connect the CY4533 evaluation kit to an Arduino Nano clone that's on the breadboard. You can do the same setup with any other Arduino compatible board, including Arduino Uno or Raspberry Pi Pico or ESP32. It doesn't matter, as long as you can run an Arduino sketch on the board, it's fine to use it. The exact positions of the data and clock pins for the I2C communication on the J1 header are available in the data sheet of CY4533. Here is the simple Arduino sketch that I've created. It communicates with the CYPD3177 over I2C using the wire library. I have uh, predefined the fixed uh, PDOs. These are the power delivery objects. Uh, the sketch loops through 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 and 20 volts. I'm going to flash this Arduino sketch to the Arduino Nano that I've connected to the computer. USB-C power delivery is really cool. Basically the idea is to have one single power supply for various different devices working at various different voltages. This way, next time when you go to a vacation, you can bring a single USB-C power delivery power supply for your laptop, for your smartphone, and even for your electric shaver, as long, of course, as these devices uh, have USB-C connectors. However, in practice, USB-C power delivery is complicated. First of all, not all USB-C power supplies are USB-C power delivery capable. So make sure you are using a USB-C power delivery um, power supply. Second thing is that even if you are using a USB-C power delivery um, power supply, you might not get the voltage that you want. Here I have two different power supplies. This is the official Raspberry Pi power supply. And for example, it supports 12 volts direct current. Here I have a USB-C uh, power delivery power supply from uh, one of my laptops. Uh, it's uh, a novel power supply and it doesn't support 12 volts. So yes, uh, USB-C power delivery is complicated. First check you have a USB-C uh, power delivery power supply. After that, have a look at the technical specification of this power supply to make sure uh, it supports the voltages you want for the specific circuits that you are designing or the specific devices you would like to power from it. The good thing is that most of the devices nowadays actually support several vo voltage levels. So if the, uh, if the device doesn't uh, negotiate, for example, 12 volts, it's gonna still work at uh, nine volts or even five volts, but it's very specific. Here for the demonstrations in this video, I have two different USB-C PD power supplies. The first one is from a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop and the second one is the official Raspberry Pi 5 power supply. Let's try them out. Let's test them and see what kind of fixed voltages we can negotiate with them. The first demonstration is gonna be with the laptop power supply. I'm using a multimeter to measure the voltage coming out of the terminal block J3. As soon as I turn on the Arduino Nano clone, it starts running the Arduino sketch and requesting a different voltage on every 5 seconds. It goes first from 5, 9, 12 volts, which are not supported by this power supply, 15 and 20. The interesting use case is with 12 volts because the uh, ThinkPad power supply does not support them and does not provide them even when we request them. Therefore, the multimeter in this case measures zero. For a real-world application, you can modify the firmware to handle the situation and request a different voltage if your schematic supported. 
Now let's try something different, same setup but with different power supply. Here I have the Raspberry Pi 5 official power supply which is also USB-C power delivery. The Arduino sketch is the same, we start with 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts which this time work 15 volts and 20 volts but this power supply does not support 20 volts so we get a zero in this use case. While the Arduino Nano is powered the Arduino sketch keeps working which means that it loops again and again so we have a Again, 5 volts, 9 volts and so on. Our experiments prove in practice what we have seen in theory, in otherwise the fixed voltages that are described on the labels of each of the power supplies that we've tested. One last quality assurance round. Let's try out the laptop power supply without the Arduino Nano and use the hardware capabilities of the CY4533 evaluation kit to switch through different voltages. I'm using a screwdriver to go through the available five positions of VBUS selector switch SW1 on the printed circuit board. This is the hardware implementation on this evaluation kit to select different voltages using USB-C uh, power delivery. It is interesting to note that the behavior here is different compared to the Arduino sketch that I've created. Here with the hardware implementation, if I request a voltage that's not supported and the power supply cannot provide it, I'll get the fixed voltage below it that the power supply provides. For example, with the Raspberry Pi 5 power supply, if I request 20 volts, which are not supported by the power supply, I'll get 15 volts. And with the other power supply from the laptop that does not pro, uh, support 12 volts, if I request 12 volts, the voltage will stay at 9. You can see this in the video. By the way, thanks to the magic of video editing, I have increased the speed of this last demonstration. Thank you very much for watching this video about CY4533 Evaluation Kit and the CYPD3177 chip that's inside of it. The Arduino sketch that I created and I used for the demonstration is available at GitHub. I've uploaded it there. It's all open source. Have a look at the description of the video for a link. Uh, CYPD3177 is a really capable uh, USB-C power delivery sync chip. I'm interested in exploring it further, so stay tuned for new videos and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you like this type of content or videos about single board computers like Raspberry Pi. See you soon!